Hey everyone, welcome to Fixin' to Create's Fun Friday DIY. Thanks so much for joining me. Today's DIY project is going to be stir stick faux window. The items you're going to need are stir sticks from Lowe's or Home Depot in there's a couple different sizes, hot glue, paint, ribbon if you choose to use a bow, and embellishments. This is great for Christmas and every day. Today I'm going to be using an everyday sunflower look for a bright and cheery summer look. There's two different sizes of stir sticks, a one gallon and five gallon. I'm gonna be using a five gallon because my embellishments are so much larger. Here's the basic layout in its raw form. The color chalk paint I'm gonna be using today is truffle. And I'm gonna be using the truffle paint on all sides of the stir sticks. Make sure you get a good coverage. Here I'm just waiting for them to dry before I go ahead and do the next step. Now remember, these are yardsticks, so they do have some measurements on them. So make sure they're either covered or flip them over. Make sure your sticks are completely dry before moving on to the next phase. I'm gonna go ahead and use a dry brush using the color plaster over top of the brown, the truffle brown. Make sure everything is fully dried or you're gonna end up with various different colors throughout your sticks. Now here is the basic layout once again making sure your four corners are lined up. You find your best center that you can in either direction, and now you have your window pane. And now let's use some hot glue, super glue, or E6000, whatever you choose to secure your corners. And there you have it. You have your basic window frame. And time for the embellishments. So here I went ahead and cut the stems off to make a short little decorative corner hot glued each piece, now they are matching, and then moved on to my bow. Now using this denim blue sunflower ribbon, I wanna go ahead and make a three layer bow. So I measured off and twisted about four inch bows on either side, making sure I twist in the middle, that way my pattern stays up front. Did that repeated three times on either side, cutting about that four inch piece to make my center bow as well. Securing everything together with a pipe cleaner, or you can use a zip tie. And there you have it, all fluffed out and time for some tails. Adding some hot glue, E6000, or super glue to the corner and added my bow. I am so excited how this turned out. I love the cheerfulness of it. I set it on top of my cabinet, but the final resting place was right above my pantry door. I love how cheerful this is. As you walk into my kitchen, it really brightens up the room. Thanks so much for joining Fixin' to Create's Fun Friday DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.